Good morning! Nice. We're just doing a quick one that today. What the hell is up? Am I supposed to do big camera? My camera quality isn't that good. Like, I don't have as much cool shit to, like, flex in it. Go back to regular. What the fuck is up? I know I'm not supposed to cuss on YouTube now. Because it, like, it, like, demonetizes you. Well, guess what? I'm not getting monetized, so I'll cuss all the fuck I want. That's what it is. But yeah, where the hell are we at? Been, let's see, how many days has it been? Dude, let's see. We have gotten... Alright, our shorts are doing good, right? I posted some shorts. So instead of doing a YouTube video on Thursday and Friday, I did shorts. Like, I made them. And they're doing pretty good, not gonna lie. And they brought some more views to the chill gaming. So I guess I need a good... Um, mix of the two. Yeah, I think my identity solidified as the Briar guy just because, like, dude, like, look at the Graves views. And, like, Graves is broken right now. Like, there's so much to learn from this video, but it's like, no one cares. Everyone just wants to see me play Briar. And that's chill with me. To be honest, I mean, she's, she's literally my main right now, so it's all chill with me. So, yeah, we, uh, got some shorts made, and now we're making this YouTube video, trying to get it set up. Just played some four fun games with my friends. Um, jungle with your friends is always going to be like super awesome. Not gonna lie, because like I don't know, you you know that the people on the other side aren't going to like run you down, you know, and just like be cringe and like cry like babies all the time. So you get to just have fun. But I literally tried to. I was like, guys, I'll do a Briar YouTube video if I get her. All right, we're swapping this. Key. To be honest. I said, I'll do a brighter YouTube video. Like, I'll leave the call and just do the YouTube video if, uh, if we get her. She's banned so much in normals and flex, bro. Oh, my God. People hate this champ, man. Like, the 38 ban rate is crazy. Look at Masters, though. Where's Briar? God, where is she? Briar, fuck. Dude, why is she so bad? Yeah, ban rate goes down half. Like, dude, Briar is, like, not getting the hype right now. She's just low elo stomper, man. That's all it is. Dude, do I try the crit build here? You guys want me to try that? Say it out loud, and maybe I'll hear you. Collectively. Now, nah, there, I don't know. Like, this build is definitely, like, it's a good bruiser build. It just, like, doesn't do what bruisers do. Like, other bruisers do what this build does better. Don't, like, to be honest, I'll go over it real quick. You go U moose for spam gank. You go Eclipse for spam skirmish, and you go Dustblade for team fights. That's it. So, like when you see this, don't take this as like everyone's doing it. It's just you know what people are building. It doesn't mean it's necessarily right or better. But like right here, this is my build. I like this build. But uh, you know you did you just find your place out. It's all good. To be honest, like people talk about like how bad a uh, bruiser is, like bruiser. Like, it's only bad because it's not the best, right? So you have to try a little harder. You have to do things a little differently. But I guarantee you, if you do some early game, you know, if you prep your early game and start snowballing early, you do, like, correct plays, good pathing, good ganks, uh, play your ganks correctly, you will do just fine on Bruiser Briar. And there's people that are making it work. So, like, the league community always wants to buy into this, like, copium ass shit where it's, like, Oh, this isn't the best, so I can't play it. And it's like, that's not how it works. You can, do. people make worse shit work all the time. Trust me. If you like Bruiser, just play Bruiser. I just happen to like fucking Dustblade, so that's why I play it. That's all it is. I just literally like it. It's not because it's the fucking, like, well, it is the best. But it's not because it's the best that I played it. It was because I found it fun. Dude, people, people make this game way too damn hard. I will say there's been one change in the runes. So this is what I've been running and I've been telling everyone to run. Um, I will say that like this one's becoming more popular and I've never not liked it. It's always been a part of the guide, but I just, um, I don't know. I might switch to it sometime. Let's see. Get our band done. Let's peep the guide too. Oh, dude, people have been really nice upvoting it. That's really nice. I appreciate that. Almost the best one. Yeah, so, like, in the notes, 
right of the runes you can see I've, I've already put inspiration and that's that's been there forever because this is a jungle thing like dude you go to the conqueror page this conqueror page has been the same for 10 years on any bruiser you just go this right every time and like you see the strength of this one of the biggest unspoken strengths of these runes of the inspiration tree on jungle is that if you gank someone you both flash and then you gank them again in that small window that you have flash and they don't it's a confirmed gank with no flash unless they take the recall then or play or whatever but you give yourself a target and then you give yourself a target again oh my god dude by the way we're getting a fucking briar game and we're playing it into ramus whatever but yeah so um like the the runes have always been good i've just myself again man this is what i like i like right here i like triumph it fe i feel like it saves me a ton and then coup de gras i just love big w2 damage who doesn't like that that's what the build does so yeah i just like it and it works for me that's it should add more runes to that but either way to be honest there's a lot of guides out there on mobile fire that like have a bunch of filler and shit of like different troll builds and like fun things now man this guide is made for winning so I only have the shit that's there to win. Um, so yeah, that's that's really all there is to it. At the end of the day, though, I think um, I think the secondary runes like it's all up to you, really. It's not this stuff will never make or break your game unless you don't know why you picked it. Does that make sense? Like like I picked this and now I added to my playstyle, and that's all it is. If I were to take free boots. Free boots are really good on Briar because they you don't have to use the 300 gold that I use during the getting Dustblade period. You can just be fine without them. The problem is, is that I like, I just like my secondary so much that I don't want to go free boots. And plus, like these dude, I love the damage. I love the eight percent on W2. I just it's so awesome. Again, like a lot of uh, another other runes that people talk about is double uh, double offense. I like the attack speed, so you can get six autos off W1. That's the point. It just makes it more consistent. It really does. Because I've even done some, um, over here, a briar here. I've been messing around with some clears, and they're like momentary losses, depending on your runes and which ones you do. So, like, right now, your best three camp path on red side is Raptors Red Krugs. Is faster than Raptor Scrugs Red, but this one does get red longer because you're getting a third. But you also get it later on your second, so it's kind of up to you. Runes everything. Um, and then this one is faster, but it locks you into Krug Gank, kind of. So they they have give and takes, and they have different times, but it's up to you to know. And trust me, this information is huge, man. It really is. I don't expect everyone on this game to like time stuff out like that but like it's just it doesn't really cost me much because i'm able to replicate it like super easy and not mess up any autos and shit like that like just the the basics of uh jungling like i've just done them for that long i don't expect anyone else to like really do stuff like that but it's just important to know like if if i can just say it to you and now you can apply it to your games done you don't have to do all the work sometimes let other people do the stuff for you I will say one thing, people, um, I'm the only person going green smite. So I'm going to give that a little bit of a try this game. And I'm going to try and not go green smite. I'm the only briar on this earth going green smite every game, by the way. Like, they, I mean, people like red. I get it. It gives it, like, so why is red good? Is it kind of, it bypasses the early need for boots, and it just confirms more kills than any time, right? Because it's going to give you the slow. The slow get like the damage is the damage, whatever, right? But the slow allows you to get another auto or maybe buffer, you know, another auto and then W into their flash. It just does a lot of little things. Whereas green just gives you, you know, you can take some poke, you can heal up a little better. It is what it is. And then blue just gives you that that good run around. I'm not gonna lie though, you kind of have to pick and choose. Like it's not, it's not really insane. Uh, decide on you just have to make one like make a decision because uh oh, what are they cooking guys I'm not there I'm so sorry oh uh, we got cooked it's all good 
Because like if you're going Yumu's as your um, as your mythic item, you probably don't need blue smite too, right? Because that would be just so much movement speed. Unless you're going for like some movement speed build. Um, you know, and it's like fun to you. You probably don't need that much. Probably missing out on something else that could be worth it. I can use W here. So yeah, I don't know, you just gotta decide. Or like, so if you're going like a skirmish build, you probably want like red plus, uh, you know, clips. There's just a few decisions to make, to be honest. Like, if you want to be told what to do, then just follow what I do. And if you want to make your own decisions, do it. Have fun. Again, good junglers are always panning your camera to see what's going on. Because, like, I just got a more exact timer than him. Like, what if he wasn't going to, uh, ping that? Now we don't know. Seems like my bard's getting a little bit caught up. Can't really gank mid right now because like the odds of Fizz going in in very low. So we're just gonna keep clearing. Five, six. It looked like they might try and dive my bot. We weren't able to catch where Skarner started. Sorry. Remus is recalling, so that's good. Means we can continue this clear without messing anything up. Nice. Pulled the blue buff this far so that my W took me to the next camp. It's a quick little way to optimize your camps a little bit. This is a leashless full clear, and you're getting it pre 330, which is good. Again. There you go, 325. 325 least was one smite. You can go two smites and you can get it like 330 or more. Or 320 or less. Just get the shrine and kill the crab at the same time. So optimize everything you do, man. Or at least try to. See these on Krugs or something. He already did them, so that leaves me to think he's topside. So my, my mid playing like this is good. Because, like, Skarner could be here. He could be looking at me right now. Yep. Doing the QE combo here. I feel like we could have banged out a little harder. But it's all good. We want to look? I'll look. I'll look. Man, I'll always die for stuff like this. I do not care. If I flash, he's going to E, so I have to flash Q when he E's, but I don't think Kasten's going to get that wave in in time for me to be useful. Ah, damn, they warded that. Alright, that was smart. They caught me lacking. To be honest, that's one of the things... Alright, so two things just happened. I'm going to try and tell you. So one thing I can't undo. Why can't I undo? Because I had a passive proc on this guy, so I dealt damage, which keeps you from changing your items. If you you know buy an item, do damage, you can't undo. So that keeps you from like spam undoing in your fountain and fighting someone in a million times, right? So that happens, that happens. So be careful with buying stuff too fast. It usually doesn't come up too much. We know that he just boarded, we just heard the sound and everything. So we're coming. We're actually just gonna go around. I'm communicating that every step of the way. And then the second thing that happens is like a good jungler does look at his can at, at his teammates, right? Cause you wanna make sure they're dropping them out as much as you can, but also sometimes he gets killed and that's part of it. Don't be mad at it. And we're in there. We're gonna wait for our W just a little bit. Oh, we went. Rage, my boy, is alive. Okay, it seems like it's fine. Eh, just a little early. But so good. Nice. Lead the way for him. It's chilling. Actually, did I? Alright, I just left a terrible wave. My bad, bro. I'm not locked in. Too busy talking, my bad. I will say, if you are the type of person that plays this game in, like, in either my Discord and stream to, like, random people in there, or you play in your Discords, whatever you do, Streaming League is very mentally taxing because you have to, like, focus on what the other person's saying, think about the game, you know, hear the people's words. It kind of unlocks you. So definitely don't be scared to just tell your friends, like, hey, I don't feel like streaming. I'm trying to really try right now. 
because for me, I was like coin flipping games back and forth. And then when I was going for GM, this is. And then I turned off my stream and I went on a seven game win streak, like actually smurfing, like super playing well, fully locked in. I don't want to do this, but uh, sometimes you gotta do what you don't want to. That's okay. Yeah, I'll tank this because look, I can just eat it. We're gonna buffer as many autos into that as we can. Just in case. See, like right there, if if I'm not looking at my minimap, then I wouldn't have known to do that. And that could have just let my mid laner die and then just been pissed off at him and that's it. I think that's all that would have happened. Let's see if we can get the fear. We could have QE'd this, but we don't have to. Just let him die every time. I definitely forgot that I know this. Aphelios. Ah, we've missed W2. You guys ever done that? That sucks. Come. See, look, man. Only because I'm staring at my map am I able to do stuff like this. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Alright, save you there. Shoot, you want to just let that happen? That's cool with me. Live, my son. Live, my son. Ah, oh, I got taunted. Dang. They got tons of people moving, dude. Get down. I doubt they'll counter my blue here, so I'm going to take this. So, like, look, if I didn't need... Like, if I had free boot rune, I'd go double longsword here. And with my amount of KP, I'd get free boots. So, now I'd be up a longsword. But, if you look at this, you know, this has given me uh, 120 gold and 200 health. And then this has done 161 damage. So, just give and take, man. Sometimes you can just like look at your runes numbers at the end of games, like you check them, like try runes, right? Secondaries, if you really care, I'll tell you what to do. Look at a game that you won, and then look at a game that you lost with, with a certain rune set, and then try a different one, and just compare those numbers and see how much they really matter. See how many times Triumph helped you, you know? If you're playing a champ that like snowballs really hard, you might not need these like early game runes because your champ's doing some of the early game carrying and maybe you need some scaling runes to go into late game better you know i've never seen a cassante with ult lose yep and i'm not seeing it today This was just a good timer because I know that uh, Skarner was bot side, so it's all good. Sometimes you just get the ice. With how much uh, bot lane's been fighting, I'm not surprised that he would be bot side a little bit extra this game. My boy might be a little angry. It's all good. Ours like this are terrible because they, they'll just react, bro. Like, even if you hit it, it's really not that good. Like, instead of just walking to it, you know? Got my combo up before he used W, so it's good. He might E, so I'm going to try and hit it. He went backwards, so that actually gives us the kill. Good. So I overshoot it. And that, that puts him in a situation where he can E forward and try and go through it and risk getting hit by it regardless. Or he can go backwards and he hasn't been in that situation before to know that uh, him going backwards gets him killed because Bard's slow. My boy looks like he's about to get dove. He's cooking. Okay. My boy cooked it. Let's go. That means I can try and look bot again. Yeah, people like Ramus, like if you can get your full combo, like if you start a fight from Fog of War, get your stun, and then do the W2 before he can get his W up, you just take that damage and you just kind of are happy about it. Guys, we are not cooking. 
Mr. Garner's coming, so he's gonna go there. We're gonna go here. We're gonna wrap around. We could stand on these crooks and see when. All right, so we know that guy's there. We gotta keep changing our plan a little bit. Mr. Garner's coming, but where's he at? Here he is. This just did the me thing where he's looking at the play. After this, try not give Fizz the Q through me. Nice, good job. Right, so we WQ to confirm the kill, and then we buffer E because it doesn't get canceled by their CC. To first of all, break me out of frenzy. DR through the their trade back. We DR through their trade back, and then also it's just a straight kill if he doesn't move. Which he, you know, it's Ramus. He can't move that much. He's already used Q. So now look at this Garner. He's he's not on a full item. I'm on two items plus boots. Let's peep the runes. So again, Triumph, give me 240 gold and health and good record damage. So that's the thing too. If your Triumph gives you 300 gold. I mean, that's kind of the amount of gold that your boots are worth, right? Now, sure, there's more to it than just simply looking at the gold amounts, but still, it's a way to see it. Like, this is a you moves gank where, like, you just run so fast over his ward and it doesn't matter. But fortunately, we just stun him out of that. When you're fed like this, you want to look plays, like, more than camps. Like, yeah, I could have went bot side, got two camps. Yeah, I could have done the crap first, but nah, take the kill. Look at this guy. Now he's trying to trade drag for... So we're going to shoot this like middle of the pack way. Okay, we hit Ramus. Not too happy about that, but trust me, we'll make it work. It's tough to make work, but we are making it work. Trust me. We're just going to heal up off this, try and bait him in. Look at that bait. Look at that bait. Did you guys know I was baiting there? You got it, nice. I smited mega early. I thought he would be the one to smite early. Good for him. Little guy, you ain't running this out, brother. You ain't running this out, brother. Oh, sure. Go ahead and you heal and I'll heal and then we'll just see who heals more. How about that? Oh. Chomp. Ooh, Penta on the YouTube. It's worth it, though. It's worth it, though. It's worth it, though, right? It's worth it, though, right? Come on, now. That was the most, like, random Penta ever. What the hell? What is going on? All right. What do I always say? I always say go edge of night when you're ahead. Balance, bro. Come on, man. Balanced? What champ at 12 and 2 doesn't just penta this team? Yeah, it's the champ, bro. Sorry about it, brother. Not not anything I did, not any interactions, not anything you guys may have done wrong. Just the champ, man. Sorry about it, brother. Couldn't do anything about it. Ah, man. That's rough. That's a rough life. Alright, I'll shoot at random. All right, my bad. Like that's why ults like that suck. That's like kind of the half reason why I don't like Axiom. Cause if you look for plays like that, you're weaker on the gank because the item does less damage. So like re getting you know getting your ult cooldown back again, kind of tough. Cause you're weaker on the on the gank that you didn't hit the R. Cause you're gonna miss R's. I mean you guys will, not me, but you know. All right, so this guy just stole that drag from me, so now I got something to say. We're gonna try and do this one right. We're at 1,200, he's not. So we're just doing that. He's at 900 smite right now, because if you look at the tab, he still has that item. Oh shit, this is why we like Bard, look at this. Q. That's why Bard's in the guide as someone that's good on your team. 
Who picked it up? Remember, don't forget you can queue to allied stuff. Yeah, I mean, you guys are chilling. Alright, so, like, where are they at, though? Ah, uh, okay, my bad. I started that before Bard queued, and Bard's queue made them juke a certain way that I wasn't ready for. Oh, shit! Fuck, I, my W didn't put me close enough. Do I do it? Alright, I'll do it for y'all. Brother, you ain't that quick. Get me out! Alright, okay, they got the Avengers. Sorry, my bad team. Sorry. Sorry, team Avengers. When your fed is Briar, just know because you have that frenzy mechanic and because you're trying to have fun and, <gasps> and stuff, people are going to perma walk to you. It is what it is. Luckily, we get a mid turf from it. Where are we going next? Usually I'd go GA here, but I'm kind of feeling more damage. Let's go QSS, maybe? Do we like QSS here? Ramus? Ramus Garner? Did we go to crit one? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, let's not let this Skarner think he's ever stealing anything ever again. The thing about, like, when you get higher elo and you'll realize that smite stealing becomes a, like, a simply, like, both players are mechanically able to hit the smite when they need to. That's, it changes from that, where, like, in lower elo, it's not that. Like, both of them don't know to hit smite, or don't have their mouse hovering over the right thing, and so on. It becomes just a guess in higher elo. Like, will he smite early, thinking I smite early? Or is he going to smite late, waiting for me to mess it up? See how they're just beelining where I show? See, now we have to adjust a little bit. We gotta let our team cook up a little bit. So stuff like this, we gotta let them cook. And then we jump in the fight. Okay. That wasn't a certifiable cook up, but it happened. We can still look though. Oh, I think they just got vision of us. If they don't do the drag, they got vision of us. That's how it works. Sorry, little guy. Ah, one more auto, no! Nice. Ooh, just kidding. Calculated. Yeah, like no flame, but like sometimes, man, you get the top laner. Like you, like I got a Penta bot, right? And sometimes your teammates, like this Cassante, are like they'll be fine without me because that guy's there. But like it's not how it works because they're gonna send more people, so it's going to get like increasingly harder. And no matter how fed you are, sometimes your champ just gets rolled. Five people CCing you and doing a bunch of stuff is just to kill sometimes. So, like, he definitely should have TP'd to that drive. He could get that tier two anytime in the game, but that's just something that happens. I'm not saying that he's doing that, but that's something that happens. You just gotta adapt to it. Always happy to help people learn this champ. Fear, maybe? Did I do that too early? Okay. See, now this was a fight where Axiom would have been broken. I can't actually one tap Skarner like that, so I have to be a little crazy. He's now Fid's walking. If you don't know him, Fid was mid, so now he's walking to me, so I can't just run straight at him just yet. Fiddle will R. We're actually going... We want to heal before then. This is how you get wards behind Baron. You just move your camera in a weird spot. So you can see behind it. Okay. 
we do this really slow. Uh, I mean, not like that bad, but it's pretty bad. Keep Baron aggro, maybe? Ah, damn. Play for the fight, play for the fight. We need to bait them in and then play for the fight. We're gonna try and heal up. Don't wanna R until we have E again, of course. Right here, I'm looking at my W icon to see when my Berserk will go down. We got a game on our hands, boys. There you go. See, those are that's called playing the interactions. I didn't have to play the players, I had to play the interactions. Like right there, that's not your standard like Briar 25 kill, I autoed everything. What I did was I denied them the ability to kill me. Which is enough because they're gonna send so much excess damage and spells and just looking at me. I mean that's gonna buy my team some space. And if you play your interactions correctly, you won't have to worry too much. That's what separates like some of the goods from the greats. Like buffering my ease in correct time, stunning people, playing my targets out, hitting the right guy at the right time. Those are all things that you should know. And if you don't know them, learn them. Watch your VODs back. Be like, yo, should I have just hit this guy on the right side of my screen super close to me? Or should I continue to hit the guy that I did? Oh, you're cooking, brother. If he lives, he's a bard. Dude, Bard's Bard the only champ that lives there. Oh yeah, we're cooking. QE combo for this guy. That's how you beat Ramus, really. Q Assassin's broken. Send it in there because you know it's a hit. Does he put his team into it? I don't even know. Come on, little guy. You're gonna have to try a little bit harder to beat Log Rid uh, Logan. No R. Oh. Did that not hit? Go the... Go the Fizz for us. I solo. If you, like, so you kill three people and you want to get some turrets and you're like tired of your team not getting turrets, just offer to solo the drag. Like they should be hitting this, getting this. Seems like they might have realized it a little too late, but it's okay, they'll still get it. Just a way for you to extend your lead a little further. Let your teammates get some money too, because you're already fed. If you, watch, if you watch me, you know how to get fed. At least with Briar. This is definitely warded. Right, Ramus is their support. He just pivoted to this bush and then turned around. Has to be, right? Hey, my boy, man. Shoot it at him. Oh, we hit the better target, too. Thank you, brother. Oh, man. That's a good flash. No, sir. Oh, man. What's going on, boys? Oh my god, I'm so sorry, but Frenzy's so broken. I get to see that you're there, man. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Nah, but that was kind of mean, yeah? Chill, Lucian, man. I'm, I didn't expect you to play like that, man. Or I wouldn't have queued my own minion. Look at my team. Send it. Ah. Alright, whatever I want. Cassante, look! Nice ooh.
and dodge a fitty. And he's just dead. You guys are what? What did he call us? <laughs> hey, yo, what are we? Huh? Hey, bro. You good, man. You good, man. What's with that guy? Did I put that as a thumbnail? Briar is homosexual? We gotta cook it, boys. We gotta cook it. Come on, no. Come on, no. Give me the farm, too. Shoot, give me the stats. GG. Wish I could say it was me. <laughs> That's hilarious. This Ghost Hunter is actually funny for that. There you go. That was a fun game, actually. That was fun. I feel like it, there was like so much information packed in this for Briar. While also just watching a tactical nuke go down, by the way. That was funny. That made me laugh. Yeah, not bad. Damage. Damage taken. This is what I was telling you guys about, too. So, like, now do comparisons like that. So, you're fed, right? Go here, look at your runes, and see how much they did. Like, realistically, how many? How much did they do? Right? Gave me 3k health and 860 gold, and Kudugra did you know, almost 1500 damage. Sure. Now, so this is a game where you're fed. These are what fed stats look like. Now, take a game where you lose with these runes. See what they did. You know, like something like Coup de Gras probably doesn't do as much when you're losing because you're not hitting as many people when they're low. So it's a, it's worth noting it. It's worth really seeing, like, uh, just the differences and making your own choices. And don't be mad that, like, you just... One day you just start feeling a different way. Like, that's okay. Do it. Other than that, have a good day. Peace.